Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Band of Brothers. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are finally, finally, finally diving into Band of Brothers. And I say finally because this show has been on my list, has been suggested to me since the very start of my channel. Back in the days of old when I didn't have a good microphone, didn't have a great camera, back when I filmed on my iPhone and edited all my videos myself on iMovie, I remember getting this series suggested to me a lot. And I had put it in polls back then, I've been putting it in polls every single year on Patreon, I include this show in at least one or two, maybe even three polls. I never forget about this show. <laughs> I've never forgotten, I've always suggested it, and it has just never won. It's never won a poll until now. I've heard great things about it, I know people really love it, and it's just one of those things that's never won, and I'm so happy to finally be checking it out. Fun fact, it actually didn't win the poll on Patreon this time either, but it got close to tying the show that did win, so I just decided, screw it, I'm just gonna watch both of the shows. Um, <laughs> so this time I'm just watching two shows because they were neck and neck, and I was like, enough is enough, it's time, I need to watch Band of Brothers, it has been way too long. So we're finally doing it, and I am nervous, albeit excited, to get into this one. I'm nervous because, um, it's a World War II focused story based off of a true story created by Spielberg and Tom Hanks and um, things like Saving Private Ryan. The World War II stuff that we have watched here on my channel has wrecked me. The World War II stuff that I've seen not here on YouTube tends to wreck me a lot. So I'm a little nervous to get into this one because I do think it's going to be really heavy, but I'm excited to finally watch it. And I really don't know much about the series. You know, I don't know who makes up the cast. So I am excited to see what it has in store, although I'm sure it will be an emotional ride. Yeah, I do have tissues, so I'm prepared. I also have <laughs> this button. That was easy. I've had this button on my desk here <laughs> for like so long and I've never found an excuse to use it. Um, I don't think that this show will be the show to use that button either, but um, you never know. I'm waiting for its moment. I'm waiting for its time. Anyway, without any further ado, I think uh, that is enough rambling and we should just get on into it. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Band of Brothers. a store and a guy oh. in that store told us to put our uniforms on. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, wow, we did interviews with the actual guys? Oh, this is gonna feel kind of like a, like a, almost like a documentary. The guy says, well, you jump out of airplanes. You know, you got all your army equipment, you jump out of airplanes uh, to fight the enemy. Go to hell. Nobody put up their hands. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, I'm gonna die, bro. I can't, I'm too shook and But you get paid $50 a month more. So that made it a hundred bucks. <laughs> At least he's, he's honest. <laughs> like, well, okay, all right, I'll do it then. <laughs> I wins on the drop zone. No oh, jump no. tonight. The invasion has been postponed. Man, they're eager to go. I would be like, thank God I'm scared. <laughs> but they, it's because they want to fight. Two years earlier. Okay, Camp Dakota. So is this training? Man, oh, that Georgia heat, bro. Oh, they, they look so moist. Position of attention. Oh, David Schwimmer is the guy in charge? Oh my god. Volunteering for the parachute infantry is one thing, Percante, but you've got a long way to prove that you belong here. Your weekend pass is revoked. I'm not gonna lie, there's there's no way that David Schwimmer could speak where I'd actually be scared. Dirt in the rear side aperture, pass revoked. I'm not, I'm just not intimidated. <laughs> but that's because I just watched a lot of Friends, so I just see Ross yelling at me like... <laughs> Oh, the hell, that's the name of the hell, I see. Wow, oh my God, that is stunning, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Do not help that man! Do not help, Do not help him, <laughs> That's sad, it's kind of a sad lesson, but it's important, like, you gotta be able to take care of yourself. Dude, I could not run in boots like this, holy cannoli. I like hiking and running, but not in boots. Damn, David Schwimmer's fit. 
<laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Zooming up the hill. Come on, you can make it. Oh, they have to go back down immediately. No breaks. Oh my God, that's horrible. We are coming on 23 minutes. Is that good or bad? Good enough for the rest of the 506. But that is not good enough for Easy Company. Ah, uh, he's drilling them to be the hardest, huh? He's the toughest. I forget like what his title would be because I, I always forget like titles in armies and stuff, but I'm getting the impression that he's like the hardest one, which is ironic that they're the Easy Company. <laughs> this is anything but easy, bro. Oh God, with your gear too. I mean, I know, yeah, you gotta be able to do this stuff in boots and in gear. It's just, oh my God. You have 50 minutes to the top and back and I will be watching you. What are you waiting for? 15 minutes to the top of the mountain, Curry. That's fast. Oh my God, he's gotta do it alone. Man, that really doesn't leave any time for a pee break. <laughs> you got it, dude. Oh my God, that scared the sh out of me. Holy f Oh, they're all coming. Oh, that's really nice. They're all there to support him. Oh my God, that's like so moving. But that scared me. <laughs> I think I was just like way out here, I was expecting a bear, you know, not another dude. Colonel Sink has seen fit to promote you. I am designating you. Mess officer for 14 days. Oh, what does that entail? I, I think a, a special meal before their afternoon off would be a welcome change of pace. Would you agree? Yes, sir. I like spaghetti. Is he, pun is he saying like, you gotta go work in the kitchen as punishment for getting promoted. Now I want you to serve me spaghetti. Like what the heck? He, he's just so like manipulative. <laughs> He's just such an asshole, but I do I do think his tactics are gonna work at making them a tougher team. This will be the first of five exits from a C-47 aircraft scheduled for today. Oh, they're practicing the, yeah, this part's pretty important. This is terrifying, doing this part for the first time. All you have to do is remember what you were taught, and I guarantee you gravity will take care of the rest. It's such an important job, but man, I, I really don't think I could ever jump out of an airplane. Is he gonna be okay doing it? He looks f***ing nervous. No! Go, 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 go! He did not look excited about that. Whoa, the way they filmed that. That is cool. That shot of like a parachuter looking up at the, sorry, the cameraman looking up at the parachute. That was so cool. Any refusals in the aircraft or at the door, and I guarantee you, you will be out of the airborne. Mm hmm He hated that. David Schwimmer's character, it's interesting. He was the most scared, it seems. Oh, and now we're going forward in time. Camp McCall, North Carolina. So we're still in training. Let the enemy team come in our killing zone. They're right out there somewhere. Let's just get them. Sir, we have perfect cover here. Lieutenant, deploy your troops. Interesting. They disagreed with each other, but he's... Yeah, and he was right. The guy was right. Should have listened to the other guy. They all disagreed with him, too. I'm hearing a lot of rumblings. Sobel? Just talking about that. So, mm. it's a little jumpy in the field. Mm-hmm. And jumpy on the airplane. Well, not so jumpy. He didn't want to jump on the airplane and just, he shouldn't be in charge anymore. I think he was like decent enough in the training at the last camp because he was good at toughening them up. But yeah, I don't think he really has what it takes to be in battle or at least in charge in that kind of high stakes situation. Sobel mixed in with his punch at all or no? I don't see him. Sobel's late. Oh, he's late. Thank you for answering my question, dude. He's late. He's gonna get kicked out. There's no way, right? This is just too much of a liability. Oh, there he is in a full-blown Sherling leather jacket. Sobel's lost again, right? Yeah, he's lost. This is just gonna create more of a problem in the entire company, man. Maybe the good major can goose this smuck. Get us moving. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yes. What are you got What? What? What is he supposed to do? Oh, no. What's he going to do? Is there a problem, Captain Sobel? Who said that? Who broke silence? I think it's Major Horton, sir. Oh, no. He's about to laugh. <laughs> Dude. Major Horton? Oh, no. Is he, did he join us? Oh, my God. He's falling for it. No. It's a T intersection. We improvise. Double envelopment. Lay down a base of fire to cut the road in all directions. Hook right with first squad. I'll tell Garner to move left with second. I'll be right up the middle with third. Go. Look at how fast he improvised too. He's absolutely going to take over. Look this guy just going out for a bike ride. He's probably going to encounter a bunch of cows that are... Oh. Dairy me. Dairy me. 
Oh, never mind. Just a bunch of men <laughs> doing their training. Oh, not again. Not Poor dude. You've done it now, Yanks. Uh. You've captured me. <laughs> who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? And let the cows out, yeah. I feel kind of bad for the guy, but he just should not be in charge. Lieutenant Winters. I cannot remember this actor's name. Oh my God. Sean Penn, right? No, not Sean Penn. Wait, God damn it. Who's Sean of the Dead? Simon Pegg. Oh my God. An idiot that was bothering me. At 10 hundred hours, I followed your orders to the minute. I changed the time to 0945. No one told me, sir. I telephoned. I'm courted with a family that has no telephone. Oh. Irregardless. Irregardless. That's pretty important. Punishment for your offenses will be denial of a 48-hour pass for 60 days. Stand before me at attention. He's lost all respect for this guy, so it's hard to remember to do this. You spend your weekends on the base anyway, Dick. Be a man. Take the punishment. No, I don't think he's going to do that. He's going he's gonna to do the trial. I request trial by court-martial. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that salute felt like such a f you. I don't really understand what Sobel was doing there, trying to get winners in trouble. Like, I, I don't know why. What was the motive there? Well, we'd all better be clear of the consequences. I don't care about the consequences. John. Oh, God. What are they going to do? Oh, no. You could be lined up against a wall and shot. Oh, no. What are they going to do to Sobel? I'm ready to face that. And every one of us had better be, too. Are they going to kill him? I will not follow that man into combat. What are you guys going to do? You can't kill him. What are you going to do? Let's do it. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. They're writing letters. I hereby no longer wish to serve. Oh, they're writing that in. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's much more reasonable. I don't know why I was like, my mind escalated so fast to murder. <laughs> I'm like, that would be such a crime. Like, not, we shouldn't do that. But I just didn't, I had no other ideas in my head. <laughs> this is a lot more reasonable. Division has established a parachute training school at Chilton Foley. The idea is for non-infantry <laughs> A close-up on him tasting the scotch. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. Oh, this is how he's going to do it. That's how he's going to do it. I'm reassigning you to Chilton Foley. Yeah, it's honestly the smart decision. He did that really diplomatically. Is who, who will be replacing them? Oh, that's what he cares about. And from Baker Company, a senior. Good luck at Chilton Foley, at Herbert. I do feel bad for him, but he is just better at the training part of like training these groups of guys to be extremely tough, but he's not a great like leader in battle. And with logistics, he gets flustered too easily. I do think that this is the right fit for him. I got a problem. My wife keeps up with things back home, casualty list and like that. Garnier's brother in Italy? Henry? Killed in Monte Casino. What do you think I should do? If it were me, I'd tell him. A couple of hours before we jump? Oh, oh, the brother's here. I get, oh, shit. oh, that's tough. That's tough. The evasion has been postponed. We're on a 24 hour stand down. I'm starting to understand now why they were disappointed because the amount of buildup and preparation and packing and mental expectation that it takes to do something like that, I could understand why you would hate delaying it another day and then just not being able to sleep that whole night. I like that we like repeated that scene and went back to it because now I get it. Here is John. Got the wrong goddamn jacket. Whose jacket does he have? What? Reading the letter. Uh, Bill Garnier's brother. Oh, oh, that jacket. Oh, is that is that the guy, his brother? Did he slip the letter into his jacket because he didn't know how to tell him? That's sad. That's the only way I feel like he could do it. Damn. This is so poetic watching him lift them all up, you know? Helping them all into the plane after everything they've been through and this moment's finally happening and it's one by one watching them all get lifted up by this guy. Oh my God. That plane sounds like it's going to fall apart. I'm sure it's fine, but it sounds rough. Wow. Oh my God. That shot of them all taking off one by one and seeing them all in the air like that after like everything. They're finally off the ground. It's crazy. Oh my God, everybody's just silent on this 
loud rickety plane like for the first time there's no jokes no nothing everybody's just like reality's hit you know also there's probably no point in talking on the plane you wouldn't be able to hear anybody <laughs> good luck and let us all beseech the blessing of the almighty god upon this great and noble undertaking eisenhower yeah i had a feeling we were gonna leave off at that moment because it made sense but ooh. oh god it's about to be a bloodbath And we lost a lot of people that night. But, uh. Oh. You try to put it all on your mind. Damn. I like that we're starting each episode off with interviews from the men who are actually there. That's so cool. I hope they continue that because that's really interesting. Oh. Just had that look at him like, you're going to be okay, but you really don't know. God, I'm so stressed. Like, we're just in the plane, and I, fe I feel the tension. Like, I'm s the anxiety's building already. I'm so stressed. Get it's wild to be on this, like, peaceful flight just across that little stretch of water, and then all of a sudden, you're in hell. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, and they got hit. Yeah, we did talk about that. Oh, my God. Oh, they all want to go with the lights not green. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And the thing is, like, you get out of the plane and you're not... I mean, obviously, you're not going to be safe because you're going into battle, but, like, just dodging all of the bombs and planes and jumpers around you. He's sending them. He's saying, go. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. This is like the first moment of semi-stillness we've had since the episode started. It like really f felt like we were on the plane and now we're with him in the parachute. Like, it's crazy. The way they executed that was so terrifying and perfect. We're about seven kilometers away from our objective. We're four hours away from when we need to have it secured. So, we got a lot of walking ahead of us. This guy is really good at keeping his cool under pressure. Like, could you imagine Sobel in this scenario? It would be so bad. Uh-oh. German. And a lot of them don't have weapons, too. Oh, wow. It's a lot of them. He did not wait. That kind of shit could get your men killed, man. What the hell? <laughs> Poor horse. Oh! That's enough, Garnier! <laughs> yeah, the horse agrees. What the hell, man? That's ridiculous, man. What's that guy's problem? Yeah. Gonorrhea. <laughs> None of your business, cowboy. All right, let's move out. Dude, guy has got a big ass chip on his shoulder man you get a bunch of your guys killed because you acting like that you see him he just sat there he didn't have a weapon he was waiting shouts at me for killing krauts he wanted you to wait for his command asshole it's pretty standard oh my god this guy's annoying he's got to learn some respect oh did he just get tangled what happened he got tangled up oh no there were Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. Oh, a plane crashed here. I see. Oh. Oh, wow. I, you know, when we walked up on that, I couldn't even tell what we were looking at. I could see, like, the bundle hanging. I couldn't even tell what it was. That's sad. Yeah, tell that to him, cowboy. My name's Hall. That's so. You just gotta learn to return his fire, though. Mm hmm. I realize it ain't about you. Yep. I just heard his brother. Oh, he shut you, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. He... His brother got at a casino. Found out before we jumped. I forgot. He's the one with. Oh, he's the one that's brother died. Oh, okay. You know what? Cut him a little slack. He's being an ass, but he did find out the worst news ever yesterday, so. Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. Eugene? I'm from Astoria. Say. Yeah, Orange Street. What gives? What are you doing in a crowd uniform? Is he a spy? My family answered the call. All true Aryans should return to the fatherland. Join up in 41.
Oh no, he's actually, oh my God, he's actually a POW? He's actually a Nazi? Or fighting with the Nazis? What the heck? From Oregon? That is wild to see, man. We're waiting on you. Yeah, I'm coming. I gotta run. I'll see you around. Yeah. That is so weird. That is so weird. Is he about to die? I feel like this guy's about to get shot. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, they're giving him all last cigarettes. I think he's about to die. There's no reason they'd be so nice. Yeah. I was gonna say, there's no reason they'd be so nice to him. Yeah, man. That's the situation you're in. No humanity for either side. I want that TNT as soon as you see we've captured the first gun. Go. Oh, nobody better move without his signal. My God. Please wait for the man's signal. There you go, see? Oh God, they're shooting at you, bro. Oh my God. It's kind of exposed a little bit up in that tree. What is that? What the f I Okay. I have no idea what that means, but all right. Oh my God. Oh my God. This running with the hand cam feel is like so jarring and gritty. It's perfect for this type of story. Yeah, get him. Oh God. Sorry. I feel bad to be rooting for somebody to die. Oh no. Joe. Is he okay? Is he okay? <laughs> Bro, I, oh my God. I'm so disoriented. I couldn't even tell that, that those were enemies. Clears, one o'clock. No. Grenade. Toy. Let's go, get out of there, get out of there. Oh my God, he dropped the grenade. Is that twice? Was that this? Was it the same guy? Se the second grenade? Jesus Christ! That man is really lucky. I think one of those dead crabs has a luger. He wants the luger. This is a guy that liked the luger. He wants the gun. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! It's like he's dude. It's like you're playing. What an idiot! <laughs> Was it worth it, bro? Was it worth it? Oh my god! First lifter with that TNT! No, no, sir! You'll be alright, Popeye. I'm sorry, I messed up, Lip. You'll be sorry. Oh. Yeah. You think this is a ticket home? <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> he seems in good spirits, at least. For somebody shot in the ass. Oh my God, that transition. Is he okay? I couldn't tell what just happened down there. Is that Hall? Yeah, yeah. He stepped on something. He stepped on a grenade or stepped on a bomb or what? Oh man, what a bummer. He went, well, at least it was quick. I'm looking for battalion headquarters. Are you kidding? It's back down a ways. Do we know? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. It's so, it's so jarring that it's like, it just like takes me aback. It's almost like you almost want to laugh, but it's so tragic you can't. Gunship, police him up from below! Grenade, joy, move out! Dude, I, 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 there's a lot of reasons why I would have a really hard time being a soldier, but like trying to imagine myself in this scenario, I genuinely would have such a hard time following orders because I don't think I would hear what I was being told to do. Like I would not be able to hear with all this going on. Not 88, sir. We disabled them. <sighs> it was so intense. We killed maybe around 20, so yeah, probably there's 40 left. Man, all that gunfire for 20. Well, it's only 20 Germans, but a lot of, you know, there are Americans that died too. But it's crazy the amount of fire for just such a small number of people. Oh. West Point? I am very close to West Point right now at the time of me filming this. Yeah, the way that this whole episode was filmed was just so well done. It was so like jarring and intense. I really felt like you were there with the grittiness of the hand cameras and like the whole execution of the beginning, with it being all jittery and shaky and like visceral to then all of a sudden have this moment of stillness and levity in the way that it was like filmed the minute you're focused on winners letting out his parachute. It really made you feel like you were there. Wow. Oh my God. 
There's something like so beautiful in film, like seeing them like just silhouettes lit by the light of a fire. Like it's so dark and destructive, like because it's a war story. It's it's sad, but it's like eerily beautiful, you know? Why are you asking questions? <laughs> oh God. It's like me, like I ask questions like that too. It's like, I don't know. I don't have the answer. They don't want to move. I wouldn't want to move. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't blame them for. Oh my God. Go blind. Oh God. Jesus Christ. He took his helmet off. He crazy. That's a really terrifying job to just be like trying to motivate them to move and like overcome their fear. You're just standing, getting fired at. Oh God. Nice. Oh God. Man, the way they shot all of it. Oh my God, like that perspective. Oh, the chickens of the gap in the buildings, watching people come over the hill, like, and everything being such like a gritty hand cam. Throw it! Was that a grenade? Did he, d I thought he had a grenade in his hand. Oh my God, he's crazy. Damn, dude. Is he okay? So this is, Car are we in Carrington right now? That's what I'm assuming. Damn. Wow. That being like a medium kind of wide shot almost was so powerful. It was such a sharp cut to it. It like really caught me off guard. What does zeroed mean? Like a bomb? What, what does zeroed mean? Zeroed mean like they know our location? What? I don't know what it means. Oh my God. Jesus, the timing of the explosives that they set, like getting that shot of that man carrying the guy on his shoulders and getting an explosion shot behind him. I mean, this is so impeccably done. I really feel like I'm there. It's a lot. Hey, Okay, oh, that's everything's right for oh, you. No. Oh, no. Oh, the deal. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought he was upset because it was like his femoral artery, but he's upset because he's concerned about the location. <laughs> oh, my God. I went from being so emotional to laughing at that. That was great. Oh, whoa, whoa. I love what they did with the sound design here. Joe? Looking good, Kip. Is you? Is he blind? Is he blind? Oh God, oh God, his face. Easy. He can't see because of the explosions. Oh no. Damn, oh my God. That, that was, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That was so visceral. Like you felt like you were in his head because of the way they muffled the sound design. Like his ears were blown out. He's saying prayers over everyone individually. Crazy fools, the Irish. You should know. <laughs> I think it's sweet, but it is crazy. I'm starting to cry, dude. This is intense. I feel like this episode is so much more intense than even the last two. I'm saying that we're never in the middle. Uh-huh. And we're the fifth of nine companies of this regiment. Mm-hmm. See there? You see that? Jesus. God, there's no break. It's, I, I, I'm on edge, man. This is stressful. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I see what you mean. It sucks. <laughs> He's hyperventil Is he having a panic attack? <laughs> wow. I have to listen to the singing. Is he... They're all hiding out here. You hid in that ditch because you think there's still hope. But Blythe, the only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead. Damn. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you'll be able to function as a soldier is supposed to function. Without mercy, without compassion, without remorse. All war depends upon it. That is like, it's a harsh reality because yeah, like you, you're acting in the hope that you'll make it out and be okay. But you gotta like put that out of your mind in order to move forward because you gotta act against your own self-interest and your own instincts. That guy is kind of scary, Spears. It's interesting because you know, it seems like this episode really is all about like fear and overcoming it. And that's why we started with those interviews of them talking about fear and ha having to keep moving forward despite being fearful. I do really feel like this is the first episode where I felt really terrified and 
and like it's been no break from the action and it's so jarring and even the breaks that we get don't feel like a rest it feels like suspenseful intense and it's all shadowy and dark and you can't see anything and it's scary oh god where the hell did they come from oh my god oh god get out go dog and fox are pulling back what who gave that order no one, it's a tank. Oh, it was multiple sh Oh my God. Is it just easy company? Staying put? Come on, Blythe, come on! You gotta move! Get up on your seat, soldier! Blythe, move. That's right, Blythe! You can do it! Hit those goddamn troopers, Blythe! Rip it in on Blythe! There you go. Oh, dude. This actor's doing such a good job. And Winters is doing a great job leading him, like. Let him have it, boy! Fire, boy! Fire, boy! He's finally, he's like, oh, I can do it now. Like, he's like not paralyzed by fear anymore. Come on! You're gonna get me killed, Lieutenant! It's terrifying. Good job. I knew you'd get me killed! Oh, no, that wasn't good. Okay, sorry, just not good enough. All right. Hold it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. God! There's so much movement! Oh, good. It's us. <laughs> he said Shermans. I thought he said Germans. <laughs> We got him. Wow. That was so poetic that like as they're fleeing, like it covered up the collapse of that man. So he didn't even see if he fell or what, you know, he missed the fall. Was he going to go look at the man he shot? Man, not even there. He ran away. Did he get away? Following the trail of blood. Wow. Oh, no, he's there. Edelweiss, the flower. Is he taking that? He's putting it on his own jacket. Wow. Remind himself that he's an incredible soldier and that he can do this too. Oh, 25 days from D-Day now. Okay. I loved watching that progression for Blythe. That actor did an incredible job when he was screaming in fear in the ditch. It's so intense because I don't know which of these guys like survive and which don't, you know? Okay. Here we go again. Covering fire! Covering fire! Blythe. No. Come on, dude. Come on. With TP? Oh, gauze. I guess it's gauze. Oh, it's so thin, though. It's not enough. They're pulling us off the front line. Oh. Now? Oh, my God. Now we're moving? Are you kidding me? Hot food and showers. Well, they, he could have sent the message 10 minutes ago. I guess Blythe isn't going to die because everybody's walking away. Like, the, the way he got hit, I thought he was done for sure, but maybe... Did he die? Oh my god, I don't... Did he die? And they just are so used to seeing death that it didn't even, like, hit that hard. Lieutenant Mian's one of yours, isn't he? Oh, uh, yeah? He hasn't forgotten his laundry. He's here? Is he alive? Huh? I'll take it. Thank you. What? I'm confused. I thought he died. Couldn't be a dear help me with a few others, could you? Oh. Sergeant Evans. Is it all the guys that died? It has to be, right? Is it all the same plane? Oh my god, man! Elliot. Blythe. What about Blythe? They had lost 65 men by the time they were pulled off the line the first time. He never recovered! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so much! <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> I'm weeping now. Ah, oh, okay. That's heartbreaking. Man, the way they wrote that, like, was so genius to follow Blythe's character most of the time and watch him overcome his fear and become this, like, selfless soldier. And then for him to get wounded like that, 
just minutes before they got pulled out because he could finally like operate like he wasn't gonna live and then he didn't. That's so sad. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's really too much. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm laughing at myself because I'm weeping now and, <laughs> and it's over, the episode's over. And I'm just crying now. <laughs> oh God.